All right, everyone, here we go. It's a cancer reading, off the cuff. Off the cuff completely, just finished a, a soulmate journey update. I thought, here we go. I need to do a cancer reading. Why? Because the Cancerian energy is the hot spot of this connection cycle. This is technically an all signs reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is. But it's for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus on that angle. Anyway, I got a pre-shuffle here. I mean, it shouldn't surprise anybody. There's a Three of Pentacles staring at you. It's a card we've been seeing a lot lately. Let's see why I'm here. Why I felt compelled to do a cancer reading today. Mm. All right. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, you found Steve's Love Tarot. And especially if you've been paying attention to all the energies that are around right now that I've been pulling on, well, then you're probably here for a reason. All right. Could just be one thing I say. Keep that in mind. All right. It's timeless. You're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. I asked the universe. I said, give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of cancer. What do I get in the surface energy? Three of Pentacles crossed by the Page of Pentacles. Someone here has figured out, underneath that is the Three of Wands. Somebody here has figured out what they want. They've figured out they want a new beginning. They want something solid. Could be something your connection showed them. Could be something you said. Could be whatever. They have figured it out. My little student here figured it out. They know what they want. They're fixing to go for it. Sounds good, right? Yeah, it does. Underneath that, we go backwards, the Two of Wands. Ah, oh, but I need to check the plan. I need to check the plan. We're going back to setting the intention. And after that, Four of Cups, book ending the Three of Pentacles. They shut it down. Why? Well, it could be somebody's depressed. They're behaving the way a depressed person behaves, whether your person has depression or not. Whoever this energy is that's attached to you is behaving the way a depressed person behaves. They figure something out, they definitely want to do it, then they second guess it, and then they shut it down. Why? Let's find out. All right. I, I imagine there's some clues in today's soulmate journey update. All right. Well, I don't know. Universe wanted to talk to the DF big time in that one. I imagine you're going to show up here at some point. Let's find out. This first card out's before the cut. So why the fuck are we here? So why the fuck are we here? Hmm? Let's find out right now. They shut it down. It was so encouraging right there. I thought for a minute I was going to be Rainbow Unicorn Tarot. My dream, right? Every, every message positive. Oh, my God. Ah, well, that's life. Anyway, let's find out what's going on here. Maybe somebody doesn't feel worthy. I don't know. I don't quite. I just, eh. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're ready to go to work, rolling up the sleeves, ready to go to work. We're here because someone is actually ready, but the, I don't think they believe they're ready. Okay? Well, okay. All right. I'm just telling you, I'm just reading the energy. Don't shoot the messenger. All right. Let's go. After the cut, Queen of Pentacles. Ah, it's your energy attached to that. And that's the Page of Pentacles that we saw from the pre shuffle to cut cards back up the pre shuffle. Somebody here doesn't, there's a lack of confidence here in some way. Emotional confidence, I don't know. They make the plan, they want the new beginning, they want what this connection showed them, they want, they, they and then they, they just, there's, I don't even want to say, I say a lot for Pisces, the angle of Pisces, that their person's put them on a pedestal. I don't even want to say that here. It's not really what it is. It's just, ah, mm. They're ready to go to work. They're ready to do it. What's fueling this? I don't normally do this, but yeah, the Six of Swords. They're slowing themselves down. There's a lack of confidence here. There's, there's something. It's, it's the third slowest energy in the tarot. It is somebody. It's somebody who might say to themselves, well, I want to, just using it as an example. Okay, just an example. I want to go toward the, the Empress, you know, the DF, but... Maybe I should just leave well enough alone. That's kind of what they tell themselves. That, that explains the apathy energy around the Four of Cups in the pre-shuffle. Let's pull a reading. Let's see what's going on here. I don't think any of this is your problem. Okay? Let me just say that for the record. I think you should watch the Soulmate Journey reading I did today and pay attention to what I said on the DF side. Because it wasn't me talking. I said it was the universe talking for sure. That reading blew my mind because... Normally, it doesn't come out that way, but that was a compelled reading, too. So is this one. 
I'm here for a reason. All right, give me a reading. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of cancer universe. What do you want to tell me? What's, 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 what's going on here? Bottom of the deck is the seven of wands fueled by the six of pentacles. Somebody wants to give, but they're keeping their distance. It's like, it's like an energy of somebody sitting out your, outside your house on the street in their car wanting to come in and talk to you, but they stay in the car. Mm -hmm. We're going to clarify with the witches. I don't know what's at the bottom. Let's just see. Yeah, the ace of wands. They keep blowing it out. Okay. All right. Overall energy, seven wands. I wish I could say that someone rising up and ready to fight, but it's someone keeping their distance. Okay. Our reading's on the flip. What's the, this is the energy around your connection. This is how they're behaving in the 3D in real life, in their world, you know, in their world. This is their soul. This is the hidden energy message from the universe read with the energy of your connection right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. Nobody can. I will clarify everything, throw some universe cards at the end. You all know the drill, right? I might extend it. I don't know. <laughs> Hell if I know. Um, I just see someone sitting in their car, okay? Metaphorically speaking. All right, so let's see. What's the energy around your connection? I mean, I might be wrong, right? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> it's the Knight of Pentacles. It, it's just, it's a stopped energy in this case. They're just sitting in the car right outside your house, metaphorically speaking. Their energy is sitting right outside your energy zone. They know what they want, know what they want to do. This person desperately wants to talk to you, whoever this is. Either they think you can help them or they want to tell you their feelings. It could be any of that and more. There's, you know, thousands of people watching. What do you want me to do, right? <sighs> Proof of everything I said right there. Stopped energy. Deer in the headlights. Okay. We'll find out more when we clarify there. That's your soul, soulmate connection. Your soulmate connection is like somebody hit pause on the movie. Okay. All right. How are they behaving in the 3D? King of Swords. They know what they want. Yeah, I, absolutely. They know where the rainbow is. The rainbow sword is lit up. They know what they want. Someone here, steely-eyed, right? Look at the eyes. We get that all the time. They know what they want to do. Well, why are you sitting in the car, asshole? Get out of the damn, metaphorically speaking, of course, get out of the damn car. Stop hiding. Uh, okay, uh, how, what, here's their soul. It bookends my deer in the headlights. Two of Cups, yeah, they're feeling the connection. I told you, this person desperately wants to talk to you, but they're sitting in the car, metaphorically speaking. Sometimes people take me too literally. <laughs> it's just like, I'm looking outside, he's not in the car. This guy sucks, right? No, I don't mean literally they're sitting in the car. Uh, yeah, they desperately want to talk to you, and they know exactly what they want to say, even. What in the fuck is going on here? Okay. I love compelled readings. I do. <sighs> okay. I was just going to binge watch some TV today. This is probably better. Okay. Well, uh, hidden energy message from the universe. Red with the deer in the headlights. Star. The universe, the fickle old gal universe is basically saying to us here, the energy's there. They should be reaching out. They should be getting out of the car, coming up to the front door and talking to you. They know what they want to say. They've got it going on. The energy is right for it to happen. There's no delay here. Sometimes this is delay. It's not. It's, it's divine timing. The energy is right. Now is the time. Mm -hmm. What's the potential final outcome here? Red with the King of Swords. This is encouraging. Seven of Cups. It, it just... It, it's just they can't make up their mind. It's like uh, I'm sitting. It's like I'm sitting in the car outside your house. I want to come talk to you, and I'm sitting in the car. I know exactly what I want to say, and then I second guess it. And when I start second guessing it, we invite in an energy of confusion. Okay, so I don't know. We're gonna clarify. Okay, why can't I be Rainbow Unicorn Tarot for once? Tell me, Flem the Parrot. He's sitting to the left of me, just looking at me with judgment in his eyes. I know. Why can't we be you rainbow unicorn? I mean, you look like a rainbow. You got greens and reds. I'm wearing gray, right? Okay, maybe that's it. I don't know. All right, let's clarify with the witches. Tell me about the deer. Tell me about the, the knight of pentacles. Knight my ass. I almost said page of pentacles. Still feels like a page. 
All right, the energy of your connection, the Knight of Pentacles, it's a stopped energy. All right, it's not moving forward, it's not moving backward. It's, it, there's a lack of confidence here somewhere. They got it, but I mean, if you think about it, sometimes that happens, right? Everybody, it's like those people online that are trolls and shit, right? They're tough guys, right? And tough girls, tough guys, tough girls behind the keyboard, right? But if you get in front of their face, probably not so much, right? Nine times out of ten. Otherwise, why are they hiding in the basement? It's that kind of energy. It's, it's just a lack of confidence here. They know exactly what they want to say, and then they start tweaking it and messing with it. And, ah. You know, people need to realize life doesn't come with a script. You just kind of go with it. Wing it. Wing it. Whenever you can, just fucking wing it. They got King of Swords energy around them. They can pull off winging it. I'm a great winger. Right? I wing it all the time. My whole life. These, these readings are me winging it. That's all I do is read the energy and just say what I feel. That's it. I'm winging it. They're not winging it. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is it stopped? Why? The energy is right. It should be happening. The universe is like it should be happening, but it's not because of that. And it's crossed by the hangman. See, look, I'm making this shit up. Look. You see it, that's why, I pull, that's why I throw the cards, so you can see. It's a hangman, and it's a literal hangman. It's just stopped. It's proof of my read on that card. It's the environmental energy around the Knight of Pentacles. If I got a card like Eight of Wands or something like that, I would be wrong. I'd be like, oh, I, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. That Knight of Pentacles is moving. It's not. It's stopped. Hangman, literal energy. What's on top? Ace of Pentacles. There's a new beginning trying to happen here. The energy is right for it. I see it. It's the slowest energy in the tarot. It's almost stopped. Grandma on the freeway at 15 miles an hour might as well be stopped, right? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Queen of Pentacles. There it is again. The Queen of Pentacles came out after the cut. And before the cut, we had the uh, Eight of Pentacles, right? They're ready to roll up the sleeves and go to work. Somebody here, what's slowing them down? slowing them down. It may be grandma on the freeway at five miles an hour here. What's slowing them down is you. It's this, you're like, I, I don't want to say they put you on a pedestal. They don't. They just, there's a lack of confidence. Maybe you are a confident person and they're not. Or they might pretend, now don't come at me and say, my person's like Arthur Fonzarelli, Steve. They, they awesome, right? That's an act, right? That's an act. People who behave that way, people who have their shit together are neutral down the middle. They're not overcompensating or undercompensating. You know, I don't know what it is. There's a lack of confidence here when they think about you. When, oh, when they actually think about getting out of the car, it's like a whole different story. Okay. Brave on the way, afraid when they get there. Because probably second guessing. They know exactly what they want to say. Why is the King of Swords here? Let's find out. Tell me about the King of Swords right now. Tell me about this King of Swords. They know exactly what they want to say. They feel in this connection. It's there. You're already together in the 5D. And conversations already happen. They've played it out a million times. They've felt it a million times. So much so that energy is out there. It's out there. The universe is like, didn't this already happen? No. No, it didn't. No. Not the way it's supposed to. Why is the King of Swords here? Why? I know what I'm going to get here. I fucking know it. I knew it. I thought Nine of Swords. I thought Nine of Swords or Eight of Swords. This is pretty much the same thing. Five of Swords. Somebody shooting themselves in the foot. The fact that they know what they want to say is actually a problem. Because Maybe they see you as unpredictable. That's possible. Can be. Not for all of you, but possible. I'm just interpreting the energy. What's on top? The hangman again, right? They know what they want to say, but they're not doing it. It's a literal hangman. Hmm. Why is this? Why is this here? Three of wands, just hanging on the edge, on the edge of the cliff. They get, they get the. I mean, it literally is. I'm using it as an example. It's metaphorical, but it literally is a car parked outside. You could look out the window, metaphorically speaking, and see them sitting there. And say to yourself inside the house, why are they just sitting there? What the hell's going on? Why don't you just jump in and say something? Hang right on the edge. Okay. 
Two of Cups. Tell me about it. Two of Cups. There's a lack of confidence here. And don't come at me with your, your person's Fonzie. I don't want to hear it. That's f I already said to you, that's fake. People that are like that are fake. Alright? You don't have to overcompensate and all that stuff. And wear a leather jacket and all that to be cool. I sit here in sweatpants and a sweatshirt. I'm pretty cool. Even my neighbor's kids think I'm cool. And I'm not Fonzie. I don't snap my fingers and people come and get a girl on each arm or anything like that. Confidence, real confidence, doesn't matter what you look like. People can pick up on it. It's a very strong energy. People that got to compensate. I'm telling you, there's some issue here. Depression, anxiety, some kind of compensation with the ego. I don't know, but the feelings are all there. It's all there. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Tell me about these feelings. Yeah, they're all there. Nine of Cups. Environmental energy around it. You make them feel good. Maybe that's a problem for this person. Maybe because you make them feel good and they know what they want to say and the energy is creating this bravery to go get it for reasons I've already pulled on, right? Right? We talked about Venus and Aries and all that kind of Mercury retrograde. The energy is all here. You make them feel good. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's what's slowing them down. Maybe they don't trust it. I don't know. That would be a lack of confidence. What's on top? The high priestess. All right. Okay. They keep these feelings suppressed and suppressed. And when you do that, you psych yourself out. Think about something you might be nervous to go do. I'll give you an example of what I mean here. Something you're nervous to go do. If you're nervous to go to a job interview or go to the dentist or some, what it, whatever it is, you're nervous to go somewhere and it's like a week away, your best bet is to shut it down, right? To just shut it down, not think about it because what will happen is you will drive yourself crazy. You will come up with all sorts of crazy, batshit crazy scenarios and all kinds of things and way it could play out and all that kind of stuff. And you will psych yourself out. Somebody here has kept this suppressed, these feelings suppressed so long that they've grown a little bit. They, they've taken on a life of their own. Can I say that? Okay. Why is the high priestess here? The Empress, yeah. It is kind of a pedestal thing. The Empress is directly bookending the Queen of Pentacles. It is. They've thought about these feelings so much and felt these feelings so much and so much and it, all of a sudden you've become some kind of god or goddess, either or, right? You make them very happy. You're where the warmth is. They Maybe they feel like if they come in, maybe this king is ready to get out of the car and come talk, but they feel like if they do and it gets shot down, then they won't feel this way again and they like feeling this way because it allows them to live in their, in their world which is changing around them and they need to get on board. I don't know, but it's exactly what I said. It's exactly what I said. They've made mountains out of molehills with the feelings for you. Mm. They definitely, there's a lot of love here, you guys. There's a lot. I mean, they view you, you're reflecting to their soul as Empress Energy. Um, and they try to, they've, they've suppressed it so long. I don't want to say it's become toxic. It's just they've built up and built up and built you up and built you up and it, it ruins their confidence to come see you mm, on some level or tell you how they feel. This can be a runner. This can be someone around you that is holding on the feelings for you. It could be that. Mm. Could also be negative. Could be somebody who, who wants to tell you something that you might not want to hear. Can be that too for a few of you. Okay. Let's talk to the universe because the universe is like, didn't this already happen? No. Nope. Didn't. Why is the star here? Did not. Why is the star here? I mean, you, may, you might say, well, you're wrong, Steve. They, they did reach out. Yeah, but you didn't get the extent of what's here. I got Empress, High Priestess, Two of Cups, Nine of Cups, and the Soul. If that's the case, you'd be together. You wouldn't be watching this reading. You'd be feeling each other up on the couch right now. Binge watching TV, which is where I was going to be. All right, let's go. The star, let's do it. I'd rather be here. This is better than anything I was going to watch. All right. The star. Tell me about it. The chariot. The card that represents this soulmate cycle. 
Yep. Somebody, it, it, the energy is right for it for somebody to charge in, the emperor to charge in, the DM to do something. It's there. Got it. Perfect. Perfect card to fall there. What's on top? Three of Cups. Yep. Communication. Biggest card of communication for me in the Minor Arcana. Three, flow of energy. Mm. Why is that here? The Emperor. Done. Who drives the chariot? I said it. The Emperor. Right? The energy's right for it to happen. This energy's right for somebody to communicate and open up. The energy is right for, for this Emperor to get up off there and come over there. But he's staying put. Staying put. Probably, again, it's something about not feeling worthy. It's just something about, it's, it, and don't take that quite so literally. I'm just explaining the energy. There's a gap somewhere in here that's causing them to stop and stay in the car. Very, very slow. Slow burn the emotions here. Very slow burn. What's going on here? Well, um, there's more to this. What's the, give me one more card. Give me the bridging card here. Six of Cups. Something that happened in the past between you and them is slowing them down. They're feeling it emotionally. The energy's right to talk about it, but it's slowing them slowing them down. Big time. Making them stop. Uh, you Only you know what that is. It's It could be past life karma. It could be something they can't even place. They don't even know why. I don't know. But it's something from the past. The Six of Cups. Okay. Final outcome. Seven of Cups. Okay. So I'm going to flip this, and I'm going to say, what does this Seven of Cups mean to my viewers? What can my viewers expect from this energy? This, whoever the fuck this is. Are they going to get out of the fucking car? Or what? What's going on here? It's crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. The Two of Wands. Always planning, never doing. Um, they got their eyes on you. Two of wands. These cards are red with these. There's a three of wands here, but he's stuck there. So you got someone who reaches for the door handle and then lets it go of that car. What's on top? The wheel of fortune. Uh, they do eventually come out of the hangman tree. The wheel turns everything here. But right now, the wheel is just spinning. Right? Like the game show. It's spinning. Can't ask for a letter yet. Mm, why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The death card. Mm. Eventually the wheel does stop spinning here. Somebody here. Mm, I'm going to need to pull a couple more cards. Because I don't like endings like this. Because this death card's red with the Three of Wands. Which is tied to the Hangman. And which is tied to the Wheel of Fortune. So eventually they do come out of the Hangman. But some of them decide to blow you off. Blow the whole thing off. And some of them come towards you and reach out. I'm going to pull on the majority right now. I'm going to grab the, uh, <laughs> randomly at the bottom of the light seer is the emperor. I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to clarify the death card. Alright? For the majority. I'm just being honest with you. Certainly you can understand that some of them would chicken out. And they just start the car and drive off. Some of them do. But they don't want to. None of them want to. Not with these kind of feelings. But there's some sort of intimidation factor here. And don't, don't take that the wrong way. Okay? I'm just riffing on the energy. It comes in as feelings and I translate it into words. There's something that's keeping them in that metaphorical car out there on the street. Now, do I think you should come out of the house and go out to the car and reach out? I don't. Because I think they just peel off, peel out and drive off. I think you, you wouldn't get the true nature of the feelings. I mean, would they talk to you? Sure. They probably would. This card wants to come out. Justice. Alright. Uh, it's crossed. The death card is crossed by the Four of Swords. It's environmental energy right now where the wheel is still spinning. The wheel is still spinning. It's, it's a void energy. What's underneath that? The Seven of Wands. Our overall energy. They sitting out in the car. Got it. Justice. Okay, why is justice here? Well, I know why it's here, but yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. It ties all the way back to the Knight of Pentacles and the energy of your connection. Right now, listen up. For right now, in this moment, and right now is different for all of you. You're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. They feel safe sitting in the car. 
They feel safe and snuggled up in their bed, right, so to speak, sitting in the car. Nobody driving off, nobody coming in. They're just sitting with it. Some of them will eventually come off the, the, the hangman and come in and reach out, and some of them won't. I mean, there's thousands of people watching, but right now, all of you have someone who's holding on to feelings or desperately wants to talk to you about something that happened in the past between you guys. You have a very powerful soul connection with them with two cups in the soul here who wants to talk to you, but they're just going to sit in the car. They feel safe at the moment, keeping their distance, keeping their distance. They feel safe, keeping their distance. And that's what it says. That's what it says. I mean, well, there's no other way I can put it. Nothing else I can do except see what else the universe wants to tell you. But their energy is there. If you think it's over, it's long gone, this can be a long lost runner for some of you. Years could have gone by, not over. And I tell you that all the time. These connections are not over. That person is still holding on to those feelings. And they grow in energy like this, dreamy energy, second chance energy. They, they grow. They do. Their energy is very close. Right on top of you. Right out, metaphorically, right outside your house, sitting on the street. In their car. You do make them very happy, though. But right now, they're just making themselves feel comfortable. They know what they want to say, but they keep second-guessing it. There's some sort of confidence issue here. What do you want to tell everybody before we go? Give me three cards from the bottom and a crossing card. Let's go. Enough with the shuffling. Three of wands. And cards from the pre-shuffle came back. Two of wands and the base and the four of cups and the hermit. Again, it's just a repeating message which, which validates the reading. The universe wants to tell you they, they're still there in your soul, right? You got, they're, absolutely, you're in their soul living rent free. Absolutely. They, they know what they want to do, they get right to doing it, and they shut it down. Backs up the whole reading with that coming back. Alright? Straight up. That's what's going on. Now the Hermit here. Very interesting. Card that wasn't part of the pre-shuffle. What's fueling the Hermit? Justice. Yeah. Again. You make them very happy. I think the universe wants you to know that. This is balanced energy. They are very clear, and I see it here, very clear on their feelings. Very clear. Alright? Wow. Okay. So, I need to go in the car with them. I am going to extend this. If you want it, the link's in the description. Alright? If you want it, go get it. I don't care. But I want to know. I want to get in the car with them and have a chat with them. And that's exactly what I'm going to do in that reading. Alright? I'm going to get in the car. I'm going to dig into their feelings for you. And I want to find out what's going on. Because this came up again. This Four of Cups. What is this lack of confidence here? What is this shutting it down? What is this apathy energy that's here? Oh, maybe I should just leave well enough alone. That came out in the, in the cut cards, too. I'm just going to go to town on it. I'm going to sit in the car with them and have a chat. If you want to join in, link's in the description. All right? That's it. I hope this reading was helpful. It really is off the cuff, no doubt. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right? Good luck.